G'day and welcome to the Country Rugby League Show. Paul Arundel, Jeff Stevenson, welcome. Yeah, great to be here. Uh, colder, less noisy with uh, hopefully less rain this week for those who <laughs> could hear it on the roof last week. But yeah, it's cracker of a day. Big show coming up tonight. We'll have uh, we'll tuck into the, all the highlights uh, from the weekend just gone, including the Pro 10 Cup Grand Final Fantastic. down at Barellan. Yeah, awesome scenes. Uh, plenty coming up and around the groups too. At uh, here on the Country Rugby League show, but uh, a few things caught my eye on the weekend. I love classic tries or weird tries, yeah. and um, and you're good at finding them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah they just pop in, up in your yeah. travels. Yeah. So he, here's the first one here. This is a contender for for try of the year. This is. Um, Jerringong Lions for now a Bombardieri Jets just keeping the line just flicking it in inches from this touch. one here like that player just stood up and saw <laughs> yeah. a ball heading in his direction oh I better catch it and then yeah I thought he muffed it there as well he went inside but yeah that was wild that player just being tackled stood up and like, oh there's a ball <laughs> better throw it yeah so well done Jerringong <laughs> and like you would think that that was there was only a couple of seconds on the clock the way that you had the Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Flinging it round. 50. And I like that. It's yeah. like that with a lot of the comps we follow, they're either going to have a, have, a, have a sneaky kick, uh, chip and chase, that stuff, yep. or just throw it round. You never know what'll happen. Yeah. And something magical always seems to happen at Gungahl and home games where it's a freakish try or a big hit or last yeah. minute winner. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a freakish try. Yeah. Um, Poor old Bill Connor United. Well, I mean, they got the two points, so they had the last laugh anyway. But have a look at this. Got it covered. He's just a horrible bounce. Just chilling. Where did he come from? Yeah, and he sort of looks like where the ball go. Like the, the, the fantastic pass that they flicked it back in. Like, hang on. How come you don't have the ball in your hand? And it's good to see uh, Adam Reynolds uh, making a kick. Yeah, he's there, so. doing all right, isn't he? He could just rock up to, maybe rock up to South, not yeah. Brisbane, and yeah. say, do you want me back? Yeah. So a couple of sort of... Um, yeah, interesting moments I, I found on the weekend on Bar TV Sports. And just remember, if uh, you like what you see here on the Country Rugby League show, there's plenty of rugby league on bartvsports.com.au. Uh, we cover, I think it's seven rugby league competitions from mm. uh, all the way down the South Coast, Group 7, all the way up to Sunshine Coast. Yeah. And plenty in between. And what I love, uh, just generally the nature of the year we've had, but also it just happens randomly as well, you get midweek games that when there's no other... Yeah. Sport on, like generally, I say the nature of the, uh, this year with catch up games. Yeah. There's a lot of catch up games on a Tuesday and a Wednesday night. It, geez, Tuesday night, you just yeah. all you want to do is like find something to do other yeah. than I don't know, spend time with your loved ones. That there's, there, there'll be sometimes a catch up game on from somewhere around the state. Or well, there's, there's a few happening as we're recording. Yeah, this, so, yeah, wow. and there's yeah, there's a few Wednesday, yeah. there's a Wednesday, a couple I think tomorrow night, possibly yeah. for Wednesday night. So yeah, love it. Yeah, love it. Uh, Bar TV all, Sports, uh, subscribe all day the, and you can help us uh, grow local footy. Yeah, every day of the week. <laughs> well, let's get into uh, some of the highlights from the weekend. It was uh, Canberra Rugby League's first. Tuggeranong hosted Yass and there was more kangaroos than spectators. Yeah, good crowd. Good crowd, very quiet crowd. And great run this. Yeah, just a great, great run, run the line, celebrating before he puts the ball down. I always love that. Yeah, me too. Tuggeranong winning 28-10 over Yass. This one here we saw a try moments ago. Gun Garland v Belcon and United. Now, look at that lovely pass. Yeah. The journeyman of country rugby league, Jake Hawkins. Yeah. Well, he's doing the right thing to keep his job. <laughs> 44 to 28, uh, Belcon and United over Gun Garland. Here is a battle of uh, Cam Peasy and Williams. Yeah. And uh, Williams, well, he won. Uh, the Queanbeyan Kangaroos getting over the Queanbeyan Blues 38-22. Yeah. And the feature match, West Bell Conan v. Woden Valley. The Rams uh, defeating the Warriors at home 22-12. Yeah, and the Kangaroos there, I think I said last week, were really hoping that would have helped them a lot. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Yes, I mean, they're still in touch. It is a top four, so... Yeah. Um, yeah you can they're going to need to get a wriggle on uh, both Goulburn City and probably Bell United. Unless it's changed, but from my memory, he's still at top four. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's hard to keep up sometimes. We'll go to uh, it's uh, Group 7, and um, Jerringong here got the points over now. A very tough game, mm. very low-scoring game, uh, winning 12 points the to important six. Important win. Yeah. Uh, at Kaiema, at the showground here, the Stingrays, lovely flick out the back there, and the Stingrays picking out the win 38-20. And the feature match was the Shell Harbour Sharks hosting the Milton Ulladulla Bulldogs. And it was a very good win for the Sharks. 30-12. to 12, uh, 
Um, they didn't really get away with it until late, so it was a good effort no. for the Bulldogs. The second half of the weekend, it rained, yeah. <laughs> as you can see, down the south. Down at Berry Showground. Uh, beautiful pictures there. Berry getting the win 24-12, and have a look at this at yeah. And, I mean, these are two teams. Look at this finish. <laughs> look at this finish. That were really, you know, need to win this game. So a bit of rain would have um, upset their game plans. Yeah, twenty to six, and that win pushes Jamboree up into third. Uh, the loss, it's two losses on the trot, I believe, for Wurrilla now. Yeah, and the, and Jamboree's timings were good. They were a bit yeah. patchy at the start of the season. They're now stringing a whole bunch of wins together at the, the, the right end of the year. So that uh, was, uh, I think, it was uh, the round one catch up game. So. Yeah. They get back into it this weekend. Up north, we go to the Northern Rivers, and uh, Cudgeon hosted Ballina. And we just mentioned about Warilla losing a couple on the trot. Cudgeon mm. have done the same. Yeah. Uh, they've a bit of an upset here. Ballina mid-table, defeating the, the top of the table, Cudgeon. That was 22-16. Uh, to 16. And uh, the other match of NRRRL was uh, Maris Brothers getting yeah. the win away from home. Very good 10. try. Just put on the pace and, and uh, just beat, them, beat the whole team, basically. Yeah, there's a um, couple of uh, washout postponements that uh, they'll catch up with their games uh, midweek, as I said, as we're recording. Yeah, I think we're getting... When it comes to rain, I think we are not getting too affected by it, despite the fact it continues to rain. Like, like teams <laughs> are still getting on the field, which is fantastic. Sunshine Coast, uh, round 14, Noosa. Had a uh, good win, 30. Oh, we're actually got Caloundra v. Beer. A day game. Yes. Too, for, for Sunshine Coast, pretty rare. Caloundra winning 33-32. And this is the top of the table clash. Uh, you wouldn't think think so with uh, yeah, Marucci Door just hitting 50 against Kiwana. Yeah, which, you know, they are a quality team, Marucci Door, but Kiwana are going to have to um, reset for this week. And uh, I mentioned this one before, uh, Noosa, 34-4 to four over Caboolture. Oh, intercept. There's a lot going on in that. There was a big hit as well as an intercept at the same time and a celebration and, and a, a dive. dive. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> Rub it in. So well done. Uh, Marucci Door still on top. They've extended that lead after that big win over Caboolture. They've actually cracked 50, so yeah. they actually raised a bat to the crowd as yeah. they walked off the field. So congratulations. So that's the, uh, the top five of the Sunshine Coast Rugby League. Now we head down to the Illawarra, going backwards and forwards yeah. uh, this weekend. Uh, three games at uh, Wynn Stadium of the Illawarra Cup, and uh, Karingba got the win over Coromel. I think it was uh, 22, I've lost my notes here, where that was, 24 was that to 10. Grant Millington with an offload there. Yes. Try assist. Impressive stuff for uh, West, 42-6 over Dapto. The rule, 14 to 12, didn't have it they're all, all their own way yeah, against yeah, Ellensburg. Ellensburg's uh, showing a bit of decent form uh, the past few weeks. And uh, this is just not some cow paddock. We are actually at, I think it's Cronulla High. Yeah. <laughs> um, De La Salle, 23 to 16 over Collegians. And you yeah. have to say that was an upset. I was going to say, I was going to ask the same question, is it an upset that's got to be? And De La Salle, I mean, you look at them now, they're looking less and less like the, you know, the... Johnny come lately, so we're just going to happy to have in the comp. They're looking at contenders. Yeah, well, interesting. If they went on and win the Illawarra comp, yeah, does Illawarra teams? I don't want these guys. They can go join Ron Massey or something. <laughs> yeah, get stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> we want them to be mediocre yeah. or at least patchy in their first year. You know, like most clubs. Yeah. Well, we'll wait and see what happens. There's still yeah, plenty yeah. of footy to go on the Illawarra. It was only the two catch-up games of the Newcastle Rugby League, and Macquarie hosted South Newcastle. And uh, the Scorpions, 28-18 to 18 over South. Good yeah, try there from great uh, try. Joe Woodbury. And up at Curry Curry Sports Ground, uh, Lakes United uh, hit 50 against Curry Curry. Um, mm. It was a dis- disappointing afternoon for the Bulldogs. I think it was their old boys' day. But uh, they've well, Having said that, Ian Burke at Lakes is, seems to be getting them quite well structured. And, you know, this is a team that was probably seen as coming a wooden spoon this year, and they're doing pretty well. Yeah, there's the ladder. Um, so a couple of catch-up games too to be had, so that uh, ladder could change by the time after we've recorded. Yeah, the show. yeah, you never know. There's yeah. a few to be caught up, but still, that top five is starting to take shape. Well, that's all the uh, the highlights that were on uh, Bar TV from the weekend. Um, a lot of footy, a lot of footy there yeah. was. It, um, 
Yeah, if so you want to uh, go back and watch any of the games, uh, you can go to bartvsports.com.au where you're probably watching this right now. Yep. Or if you're watching it on the YouTube. Or well, the mini games, yeah. like they'll be around actually. They might be just around where we're, where we're being. Yeah, seen. yeah. Just sort of just down there on the website. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the mini games are great. You know, just a little, yeah. get a little taste of it and, you know, move on to the next one. It's great. Now, before we get into Around the Groups, mm. uh, we gave uh, Steve Maskell's book Two Tribes a plug. Last week, we'll give it a, another plug again this week. Yeah, and um, yeah, as I say, get out and buy it. It's a good five read stars about Super League. You've started. I've started. I started. Yeah, I said five stars, but I have started <laughs> actually have, reading it. I yep. still haven't started it because I've left it in the shed. All no, week, yeah, well, that's so right. You've got to remove why. it and bring yeah. it back for the for the podcast. So, uh, if you like good rugby league journalism, I know it's very hard to find these days, but uh, Steve Mascord is one of the best. Two tribes. It was remarkable when when you look at the front, the amount of people I think that have been interviewed and have passed away or passed away prior to being interviewed for this book yeah and it, like I said last week it's good to get this on on the record yes. because if everyone's getting older That's and you, you, we're starting to lose these stories but yeah was, I was blown away with how many had passed since that period like yeah. you sort of forgot that yeah. it was a few years ago and they were a few of those guys are pretty old when it all started 25 years eh? wow god time flies <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, let's get into Around the Groups. Around the Groups, right. It's actually a little bit of stuff. I'm really interested um, looking up the North Coast to see what's emerging out of Group 2 and Group 3. They've decided in this week, the past week or so, that they're going to run a Group 2 versus Group 3 end-of-year game. Okay. They're saying it's the team of the year versus the team of the year. And I think that's their way of saying it's not a rep, Yeah. Okay. official rep yeah. team. It is the... I don't know best of, you know best of the bunch kind of thing, oh, right. yep. um, but they're kind of so, they're trying to turn it into a thing, which I think is not a bad idea. They, they, they're going to play it um, at the new Southwest Rock Stadium, right? And shoo all of Matt kangaroos out of the way and try yeah. to get a game in before the kangaroos advance on them. I don't know whether the best kangaroos actually get to jump on the field that day or whether yeah. they, they work it out amongst themselves. Maybe they're getting votes each week. Yeah, Maybe that's they're doing right. the voting. That's right, yeah. and they're like, okay, you yeah you you got the best of the kangaroo of the year, you get to jump on. But the um, the idea is it's a bit of a we're going to make a weekend of it as yeah. well. So it's going to be right. Saturday the twenty fourth of September. So it's it's right at the end of the year. They uh, there's a get together at the country club. All groups come together after the game, have a beer, have a feed, have a laugh. Um, they're encouraging people to make a weekend of it. So players and fans and potentially yeah. that kind of thing yeah. rocking okay. down that way. It's a great idea for like you think Southwest Rocks community must get some, a lot of benefit out of this. Um, it's kind of what we've been dancing around a little bit, this idea of kind of groups forming their own kind of rep teams and maybe then, you know, doing something with the winner of this game, yeah. you know, yep. getting them to play, I don't know, the Peter McDonald Premiership yep. winner or, or, or I, don't, I don't know what. But so like maybe get a stronger, one of these group teams playing a stronger codes Premiers, you know what I mean, a stronger comps Premiers yeah, kind of thing. Yep. Um they say that this game will help decide, I guess, who plays for the North Coast Canterbury Bulldogs side. Remember we talked about that a few podcasts right, ago. Okay, the, yep. the Canterbury yep. Bulldogs are trying to form this kind of um, arrangement and, and uh, with Group 2, Group 3 up the North Coast. I'm not quite sure who they play. I can't yeah, quite okay. remember well, after they all They might that. play um, the Northern Rivers Titans. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Yeah, so anyway, so this is almost like a selection thing as well. So okay. so, so, so it'll be um, for fans and for all those people who, who love their footy up there, it'll be just a great weekend to go yeah. rock down, watch game. There's going to be ladies league tag and under 18s um, teams of the year as well. So Just one thing I'd just like to touch on. If it's not pissing down rain here at the shed, it's blowing no, a gale. It so is, the roof wind. might come off. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. We're, yeah. we're okay. Don't send help. You yeah. know, we'll be fine. Okay, we will be here next yeah. week. Um, Steve Reed, he turns 51 in a few weeks, wow. few weeks yep. and he played for Tamora on the weekend. Uh, this isn't a first, this happens a bit, but he played with his two sons in reserve grade. Yeah, um, so cool. former Canary Bulldog. Um, what I realised when I looked back was, like, I'd hate to think how many games Steve will probably know and someone at Tamora may be able to let us know. He retired or was uncontracted by Canterbury in 2003, yep. went back to Tamora. So he went from Tamora to Canterbury to Tamora. Yep. Can't get more Tamora than that. No. <laughs> uh, in 2004. So he has played 18 seasons at Tamora wow. since retiring from Gee. Canterbury. People probably forget Steve <laughs> Reed was around or what year he played, yep. all that kind of stuff. But 
what a man. There's a shot that you'll see on, on the screen there of him and his sons yep. that look like strapping lads. But 50 years old, he's still lacing the boots up. Boots up. He is... I remember We talked earlier in the year that Josh McCrone was kind of inspired by... To, yeah, to get in the NRL yeah. because Steve Reardon came back and played. <laughs> and Josh Crone's now the captain coach. And he, he's just finished. He's like, bloody hell, I've got another 18 years. Yeah, of that's right. <laughs> yeah, and Josh has gone from sort of child to player to retired player, yeah. semi-retired captain coach player in that time that Steve's been at the club. So <laughs> fantastic. Good on him. I love that stuff. I hope he doesn't get injured and stuff. But, you know, like I'm more likely to get injured getting out of the car than yeah. he does getting injured on the footy field. I think he's a pretty fit guy. Um we will touch on the Protein Cup a little later on. But yeah, 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 we've got some stuff for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the Cowra Magpies, there are a lot of Indigenous rounds and stuff like that. It's hard to cover them all. I'll specifically mention the Cowra Magpies because they're making a week of it, so I'd like to promote some of the stuff that's going on there. Look on the Cowra Magpies Facebook page. They will help you out. But they've actually got some funding from the Australian Sports Commission to run a week-long Indigenous round sort of thing okay. with, with various things. A Wednesday, um, it kicks off with... A discussion now. A Rambi. I don't know whether you'll help me with this. A Rambi were the original Cowra team. Okay. And they must have renamed themselves to Cowra now, or, or reformed it. As I'll have to, uh, I've got that Cowra magpie. Yes. Book, but, yes. Uh, we've got to look that up. <laughs> but a Rambi. They were talking yeah. about that, that. There are going to be a couple of people. They're talking about the hi- the history buffs. Um, Beatrice May and Philip Ingram. Yep. Talking about the original Rambi team that started in 1922. Well, yep. And they're going to have a little bit of history discussion on Wednesday. Thursday, there's an art workshop that can, anyone can be involved in. Friday, there's a dance workshop that anyone can be involved yep. in. And then Saturday, there's the game, Caravus Orange. So um, there's a big week ahead. Yeah, it's heaps, yeah. uh, it's well a fantastic done. idea. Um, just to touch on just how we haven't really talked, had Burgess discussions, but Sam Burgess, his career as a coach is about to end, well, his first year is about to end. Yep. There's two more rounds going uh, to go up that up that way. And they're finals bound, officially. Yeah, I, I just hope Arara Valley, they, they're out of the comp, they're back. I just hope when Sam Burgess leaves, yes. it's not the end of Arara like Valley. in another 30 years, because he's going to retire up yep. there and coach him forever, you yeah. mean. Uh, <laughs> I think he's going. Unfortunately, there's bigger and better things for Sam. But yep. you're right. I'm no doubt he brought a lot of players with him or encouraged a lot of players up that way to play for Arara Valley. Yep. But um, having said that, you've got players, you've got a field, you've got, you know, your, you've got your little clipboard and stuff, you've got to do the job. And he seems to have done a pretty good job up there because yep. they're actually equal first with Will Gulga. They're definitely going to be in the finals, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. I, I, so it's quite of heartening because I don't know he stuck around for at least the whole well, year. <laughs> well, Gulga's well, Gulga's only been in the um, competition. Uh, they they had a couple of years out too. I yeah, think this is like their fourth, maybe fifth year back. Yeah, wow. So uh, they've built well. So hopefully, that's the blueprint. To yeah, that's longevity. fantastic. And you know, you got to give credit, it's easy to say, oh, Arara's back and doing really well and Sam Burgess stuff. Nambaka Heads and Sawtell are back this year too and they're yeah. busting it out every week. Yeah. But they've got through the year. I, I don't think Nambaka's won a game. I think Sawtell's won a handful of games. So it's worthy worthy to recognise them as well. Yeah. I, I think it's just because they're not as successful doesn't mean it's not a success to get them back because it yeah. must be hard work getting the team back a, after it being on hiatus for a few years. Oh, definitely will. Yeah. Um, apart from that, that's me for Around the Groups. All right. Well, you got the Pro 10 Cup uh, highlights coming up very shortly. But yeah. uh, just a couple of um, old boys days happening mm. this weekend. Uh, Saturday at Carl Oval, Lakes United's got their old boys day. That'll be a big one celebrating. There's a lot of old years. boys yeah. around Lakes yeah. United. There's a lot of guys that retire. Yeah. They, they they love it out that way We're, so much. Uh, we might God's country. crack this uh, 40 year yeah. report uh, from what, 1947 to 87. Yeah, so yeah. So that's uh, ready to go on Saturday. It's apparently 2022 is the year that you meant to crack it. It's a real good venue. For that. Yes, and Macquarie Scorpions also have their old boys day. Um, that should be a, a ripper out there. What about Lake Macquarie? Food. Those old boys don't leave. So again, I think there's more old boys still living out that way. I, I sort of feel sorry for the old boys that 
probably had a couple of years at both clubs. So yeah. You've got to decide which one am I going yes, to Yes, that's go true. To. Yeah. And then you get dirty looks either way. Like, yeah. what are you doing here, Scorpion? <laughs> what are you doing here, Seagull? Oh, I played five <laughs> games. <laughs> Demon Devils, uh, their centenary celebrations are at this weekend. Uh, Friday it all kicks off. Um, I forgot the Friday night game against Musselbrook. Yeah. Uh, just bear with me. I've just got my notes Friday up Friday night football. Yeah. Look, I'll take the lead. But Friday night football, fantastic idea for a, for a, a celebration. Yes, so uh, Friday night kicks off uh, well, first grade, uh, reserve grade six, ten past six. I'll get it right eventually. Yeah. Um, right and then uh, 7.30, first grade against Musselbrook. A uh, bit of rivalry there. Yeah, nice. Saturday, they've got the centenary celebrations at the Denman RSL, kicking off at four o'clock. Then Sunday, the recovery day. Recovery day. day. Yeah. For recovering from what? From just sitting quietly, drinking lemonades, watching footy? Yeah, so um, <laughs> look, and if you're watching this show for the first time, Denman, they're still after some old, some history and some old photos. So um, the best way to uh, get in contact with those guys is to go to the Facebook page and uh, send them a message. Um, they get back to you very, very quickly too. So um, Denman Devils celebrating 100 years. How good's that? Yeah, it's fantastic. And like we've said all year and even last year, like each club does their celebrations differently. But I yeah. really like that. I really like, like the Friday night game. What a great way to start. You know, to start the uh, start the weekend of celebrations. All right. Um, you yeah, know, we're going to get into the Pro Ten Cup. Yeah. Look, I re- I think it's in- interested to in me this the Pro Ten Cup because it's probably the first grand final of the year. Like, there's often yeah. that with out the Outback Rugby League. I don't think they've had theirs yet. So that got my interest. But I think sh- I'll speak for both of us. Once we got in, uh, watched some of the footage, of the Pro Ten, heard the stories around us. Like, this is a remarkable. <laughs> Uh, grand final and a really, really, really interesting competition. Yeah, we'll get the um, some highlights up on the screen now, and we'll just uh, talk over them as it happened. Now, Ivanhoe, if you don't know, they're in the uh, the Roosters colours. So the skill, the first try, the skill level. Now, as you watch, you know, the, the actual there's some pretty big hits and things, and a lot of big boppers in the in both teams. But gee, the skill level, the the, the ball work and that kind of stuff. <laughs> some big quite, hits. As bam! Well. There you go, and. Sacrificing their bodies, considering I was saying to Paul earlier in the week, these guys are all amateurs. There is not one person here that will be here for the money. They are all doing it for the love of the game, and they all have jobs to go to and family and that kind of stuff. This is my favourite try. It's hard to I shouldn't give away. What I love, you had uh, the Mirandaru crowd on one side, Ivan Ho on the other. Yeah, You've got the uh, concrete pitch that's covered in sawdust. Or, yep, or that's sawdust right. There's, dirt. there's <laughs> um, <laughs> there were signs going, heading out of Narendra. I might try to find one um, saying you know good luck and all that stuff. But kids, kids have been making signs and whacking them up on on other signs and stuff. Another good tackle there. More big hits. This is the uh, the winning try for Narendra Lizards. And so you can see the crowd right up against the the rope and look at the I I the the refs got a good look at that, but that yeah. was a very very slim line that he had to run to score that try as well. And this was with seconds to go to, to level the match. Just going to get the, uh, the ball played. That's it. Yeah, yeah full time called. That, they, what is it, within 20 centimetres of yeah. <laughs> levelling the match. So, um, it's it's amazing. Oberon need to be proud of themselves. Ivanhoe, sorry. No, Oberon. <laughs> Ivanhoe need to be proud of themselves. Same with Oberon. Ivanhoe need to be proud of themselves. And, and Narendra, they, the last green final Ivanhoe played in was 87. Yep. They won Group 17, I think yeah. it was 1959, so that's a long time yeah. ago that they won. Narendra have never won a thing. I think they made the grand final in 2019, and they made Group 20 grand finals in 86, 91, and 99. Yeah, okay. So there's a lot of boundaries and know, borders and that kind of stuff around there. somewhere in the uh, the noughties, they might have merged with Yanko Wamoon. Uh, yeah, Tenano. okay. Yeah, it didn't work out, and they both went their separate They've got to be the only lizards, I think, yeah. around when it comes to mascots. I can't think of another. I can yeah. think of other kind of lizard-ish things that are mascots. But, but yeah, I just think, great game. It was real rugby league there. The crowd were on the field cheering and screaming. There were little kids with pom-poms and that kind of stuff. And I, again, like I said last week, no disrespect, I guess, to Narendra, but it's a much bigger, uh, for those who don't know, much bigger town. Yeah. Probably 10 times bigger than, yeah. than Ivanhoe. So Ivanhoe uh, held a place in my heart considering that they are so small that I really think it might have been, I don't know how many other 
rugby league players are in town not getting yeah. a game. Put it that way. I'd say everyone that can play rugby league is in that team <laughs> yeah. and probably in the starting squad. Yeah. So, so, yeah, fantastic game. And there's the results there on your screen, the, uh, the 22 Proton Cup Grand Final, Naranja 20, uh, Bodine uh, Tarava, Jack Cooper, Brody Williams, Malik Lyons scoring tries to Andre Williams and Kane Williams. King goal each, and for Ivanhoe, Mark Huntley, Jay Little scoring tries each, and Victor Ward three goals. Yeah, and a real, you know, what more do you want from a grand final? It was try for try, really, wasn't it? It was yeah. really just in the end, Ivanhoe ran out of time to score their try, to yeah. even up the ledger sort of thing. So, uh, no, fantastic game. Well done, everyone involved in there. I hope Silly Sunday was great for everyone, but not too great. Uh, and, yeah, I'd, I'd say Ivanhoe... Uh, as a small town was completely pumping uh, Saturday night I'd say Narendra was the same like yeah. being the host uh, town and Narendra they'd done the double as well because they beat uh, Gulgawi in the women's nines yes. as well so yeah. big big celebration they're probably still happening in Narendra yeah. right now fantastic and you see that crowd there I'm assuming in that scenario Narendra get the like the gate and the canteen I'm not really sure everyone does it different no I th- yeah it's normally so what don't have the ladder there, but uh, mm. the home team Barella might get the gate. Um, yeah, yeah, and then right. Another club's got the canteen. Yeah, and, I mean, yeah, but it, look, it's but all the, different every group. The weather looked great, the crowd looked great, but whatever the case was, I'm sure there was a bit of money that was uh, that injected into the that comp that yeah. th- from that from that grand final. It looked like a really great day for everyone involved. Yeah, it was. Uh, We'll have to uh, pop down there. Next I year. would list, list honestly the Pro Ten. I used to think I wanted to go to the Outback Rugby League Grand Final, but Pro Ten is way up there. I'm going to buy Pro Ten products right for the next whole new year. <laughs> so anyone know. at Pro Ten wants to get us there, <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I, we don't need corporate facilities. No, no, do we? No, no. I'll no. bring my own chair. Uh, yeah. We can call the game. We can not call the game. You can tell us to shut up, whatever. But no, I'd love to go. Well, that's it. If you if you want to go back and watch the game in full, uh, just go to YouTube and, and type in Protein Cup 2022. Uh, some games up there. Obviously, the first great grand final. And yeah. the women's nines. And they've yeah. got the prelims. So heaps of stuff there. Well done to Protein um, Cup organisation committee and all the teams involved yeah great. that's right yeah it's 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 these fringe comps that i love um and yeah that's certainly i would say fringe but um like i said those they're doing it for the love of league all those guys out yeah. there at the moment and ladies all right uh, let's wrap some things up now we'll go into this weekend uh the footy uh newcastle returns with round 17 a full list uh feature match uh lakes v west yeah um, Old boys stay down there. It should be a cracker. Yep. And and really, uh, we look at the, the table and stuff, the must-win stuff. Um, Cessnock versus the entrance will be interesting. The entrance, they're getting pretty close to like having to win every week. Uh, yeah, and Souths at home to Maitland, a must-win for Souths if they're going to submit yeah. that uh, top five spot. Yeah, same. Yep, exactly. Illawarra, round 12. Uh, which one of those uh, fixtures there that you like? I'm just enjoying... Helensburg generally at the moment, like I think they're, they're just as, as a vibe. But they're they're actually they're they if not winning, they're losing by not much. They're, they're, it's they're playing really well. But I will say the real versus De La Salle because I just want to see where De La Salle's going with their yeah. form. Um, that yeah, you're right. It could be the first Illawarra Cup to go to Southern Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> and, and on that, I'll just pull this is my rant. I read an article a few weeks ago in the paper where they were saying. Um, the country rugby league struggling because they need Sydney clubs to kind of fill their and, and I thought it's very curious because I think of it the other way around that the country comps like the MacArthur comp and Illawarra Cup are stealing Sydney teams I, I see it as a positive thing like we're actually like yeah. taking Sydney teams out of the metro well there's a few angles you could um take on that but that may be for all, uh, an in focus in a couple yeah of it could maybe. be yeah but yeah. but I just sort of thought it's very cynical to say oh the country's so desperate they need De La Salle yeah. where I'm like well they've been the Laura Comp's been humming along for years it doesn't need anyone so anyway I, I, I intervene <laughs> <laughs> Canberra round 15 uh one of the games there that looks pretty good is Wayne Valley v Golden City. I reckon it's must win for Golden yeah, City. Yeah, definitely. And and they've they've looked even the past couple of years really their form has been patchy. They then win, loss, win, loss, loss, win, win. Yep. They need to string some together. Bit yeah. of consistency from Goulburn. And uh, West Belcon and V Tuggeranong. Uh, it's a top four battle. So uh, yeah, two. That would be a cracker. Also be good. Uh, Gold Coast round seven. Uh, it's a catch up round. Um, uh, one game got played. Uh, Tugan beat Almo. 
earlier on and the yeah. rest got uh, washed out. So they're yeah, going to try yeah. again. This is take two for round seven. Yep. And it doesn't have to be at Chugan. They can just play whether they want this time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Kurumman's due to host Mudgery Bar. That is the feature match on Bar TV. Yep. So fingers crossed it is at uh, Galleon Way at Kurumban. Just play them at Chugan. Yeah. <laughs> we just could just play everything at Chugan now. Uh, and Southport may not find it as easy with Helen's Vale as... You could, yeah, I know yeah. the Hills Vale are playing the, the, the last, but they, they are playing quite well, so that'll be an interesting game. Uh, round one catch up, Group Seven. It seems weird when you say Round One. Yeah, like, oh, kicking it off. <laughs> that's, a, that's the way it is. Uh, Stingrays hosting Jerry Young. That's a big test for the Stingrays. Yeah, um, yeah. To see if they are the real deal. That's right, and the match of the round, we're all of us clamour, yep. will be a belter. It's going to be yep. a great game. Both coming off losses last weekend. Yeah, yep. and Jamboree really need to win, I think, after last week. They're going really well, but um, Shell Harbour could be a, a bogey team, really. Like, they may just relax a little bit, yep. and, you know, yep. they, they need to keep the form up. And Triple RL, round 14, uh, Mwilamba hosting Mullumbimby, one of the ten, but uh, don't let that fool you. No. It's, uh, Will be a very and don't try to match. say it three times very quickly. Mullumbar, <laughs> yes. Mullumbik. Anyway, uh, Balim will be Kujin. I think that is the uh, feature match. Uh, yeah. Don't hold me to that if it isn't. That will be um, a cracker. I'll, my phone will start buzzing very shortly from yeah. Dwayne Neville that I've got <laughs> it wrong. <No. laughs> right. Um, so yeah, some some good games here in Triple RL. And interesting to see what how Ballin and what Ballin do next. Really, after yeah. last week, you know, we've got Maris Brothers this week, but you know, they, that was a pretty good tidy win. Yes. Yes. Yeah, some. Uh, Interesting uh, games popping up there on NRRRL. And finally, Sunshine Coast, round 15. Uh, probably the one that stands out there is uh, Biwa v Noosa. Yeah. Four. Yep, that's right. And we'll see, I guess, this time next week, we'll know what Kiwana did next after yeah. last week's um, drubbing against, you know, the form team of the comp. Yeah. But still, you know, they're, they're second in comp. They would have felt like they've had their pants pulled down. Well, interesting uh, with a few of the results. We'll just go back to NRRRL. They, yeah, they yeah. might have had a few out at... They might have travelled down to Splendour in the Grass at Byron. Yes, so, <laughs> that's right. I think there was a few uh, forfeits for that reason in N Triple R. Is that why so. Kwana didn't play so well? <laughs> it could have been. Maybe Bruff yeah. was involved. Yeah. I uh, think they're going to be talking to Coach Bruff yeah. about bringing some players up if they're not going to if they're, they're not doing so well in the next few weeks. All right, we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can talk about that next week maybe on we the uh, yeah. on the uh, <laughs> on the country rugby league show, whatever this thing is we're doing yeah. each week. The, the the Sunshine Coast Reserve Great Show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, mate. We're uh, done and dusted uh, for another episode. Um, it's calm. It's quiet. Yeah. Um, it's been a great week of rugby league, and again, like. I'm going to rock home now and watch a catch-up game on a Tuesday night. But, yeah, if, if, for, 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 if it's wild and woolly and gross outside, there's nothing like sitting in front of the heater and getting a bit of bar TV on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as I said, plenty of footy this weekend. Uh, and make sure you check out uh, a few of the other games. Or if you're an old boy, make sure you get and uh, support your local club. Even if you're not, just go and, and yeah, support yeah, your go local and, footy. Go and call, call yeah. some call some grief and run a mark and say, I'm an old boy, I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> and go back and watch uh, the Pro 10 Cup Grand Final. It is an absolute cracker. Yeah, catch it. Yeah. The, the the best thing you'll ever watch on, online that isn't Bar TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul Arundel, Jeff Stevenson signing out from the Country Rugby League Show. We'll catch you next week. See you then. 